I feel very comfortable here. I probably would still be homeless and still working on myself. Man, in all honesty, I think I'd probably be dead. Every night throughout the region, there are hundreds of young people who don't have a place to stay. Many of those kids are in precarious situations that are not good for them. I think this is like a better environment for me, and I like it. I'm not quite sure how some of these kids wake up on a day-to-day -day basis with the situations that have been, you know, handed their way. The number of young people that are in difficult situations just keeps growing. I found that there's a lot more youth homelessness in this area than most people living here really understand or, or know about. Many of the homeless youth are difficult to find because they are couch surfing. They are spending a couple nights here, a couple nights there um, in different houses that they're not literally on the streets, but they are in fact homeless. I think what makes Valley Youth House unique is the commitment of our staff, the compassion they have for young people. This isn't just a job for them. Valley Youth House is out there working every day. They are where the rubber meets the road. These people are amazing. They put their backs out for everybody each and every day. The Synergy Project is it's really an, a community outreach. Uh, we're really uh, going into the streets, literally, to look at opportunities to help youth. Our Synergy staff takes the time to find out where those kids are, build relationships with them, give them needed supplies to uh, help get them off the street and into a, a more safe and secure environment. Listen, I was homeless for a year. That's all it took. That's all it took. But it, it actually felt good to have people that's willing to come and do things. We take opportunities to work with kids on a different level than I think a lot of agencies do. Valley Youth House is, is proactive engages directly in the schools. They're doing their best. Our hope is that the issues, the emergency crises that we see right now can be addressed before they became crises for families. Valley Youth House provides amazing programming every day. Amazing things happen with uh, kids and their families. The problem is we're not reaching as many kids as need our help. Valley Youth House has to continue to tell their story. It has to tell of the challenges in the community. It has to talk about where they're making the most impact. And it has to make sure to the donors that, they're, that the dollars that are being invested in our community are getting results. Valley Youth House is funded through a series of different uh, funding uh, sources. The foundational funding comes from federal, state, and uh, county sources. They'll receive uh, some reimbursement obviously from uh, from the government. That funding alone won't cover these costs. The government funding that we get is not enough to fully cover the programs. We need the help of the community in a financial sense to help support those programs. We give to Valley Youth House because we think that it's 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 a it's a great investment in in our community and in particularly in the youth of our community. Without the support of um, the community as well as large organizations that Valley Youth House has come in contact, we would not be able to you know do what we're able to do with the kids on a daily basis. So we really rely on the community, on individuals, on companies, on foundations to provide that extra help and the support for our, our children. The Valley Youth House is an organization that has a high degree of credibility, has a long track record of success, and it has shown an ability to really impact people's lives in very meaningful ways. I don't see how we could be doing the, uh, the, uh, the great work that we're doing with youth and families and homelessness, which is serious in our communities, without the help of Valley Youth House. I think it's hard for people who haven't had the opportunity to see up close the value that Valley Youth House can provide in the middle of the night to a young person who's been kicked out of their house. Uh, the police are concerned about that individual and they have a couple of choices and most of the choices aren't good. And the best choice is to bring that young person to Valley Youth House. Because it's the children, it's the kids. If you don't help children when they need it most, what happens to their lives? I mean, that's your prime opportunity to make a difference. So when I think of Valley Youth House and I think of their leadership, 
I know um, that they're having an impact uh, on the youth, and I know that they're changing the Valley every day because of their programs. They're accountable, they take the investments wisely, and they're making a difference. So when I think about it, to me, it's, it's that part that really makes them special. It's rewarding for me to make a difference in, in children's lives. I learn from these kids as well. It's not a one-way relationship, that it's a very reciprocal relationship. Every kid deserves to be okay. Every kid deserves to be safe. Every kid deserves to be loved and have somebody care about them. Thank you, Valley Youth House, for helping us. I can't appreciate you guys enough than what I do today. Thank you. Thank you. 